We don't need our planet to be a farm. We need our planet to be our planet. Um, and by making meat in this way, we can keep our planet the way that it should be while also enjoying chicken curry rice at Mr. Lou's and everywhere else we want to eat. Would you eat chicken grown from a laboratory? Josh Tetrick is hoping you will. In 2011, he started a company that produced eggs using mung beans. Six years later, the American expanded into cultivated meat, where chicken is grown from a single chicken cell. In March this year, his company Eat Just started work on the construction of its first production facility in Singapore. I'm having a Zoom meal with Mr. Tetrick, who's based in San Francisco. He tells me more about his dream to get people to eat real meat without the need to kill an animal. How would you convince people who have qualms about, you know, lab-grown chicken? Well, I think the best way to convince someone is to do what we did with uh, both Mr. Lou and his customers. We put it in a dish that resonates with people, the curry rice dish, um, and we invite people to try it. So that's more important than anything that I can say. It's more important than any billboard. It's more important than any commercial. It's more important than any uh, influencer, key opinion leader, and what they have to say. Get it on the menu, whether at a fancy restaurant or um, in a, a dish that uh, someone like Mr. Lou serves and let people try it. And that's the best way to convince people. Um, and then I think once someone tries it and they realize it tastes really good, it tastes like chicken and their curry rice dish doesn't taste any different. Then it opens up a bigger conversation about why this matters, about why this approach to making meat could have a real impact on the planet they live on. Why did you choose Singapore to set up a facility? For a few reasons. One is Singapore is leading the way uh, when it comes to thinking about the future of our food system. The 30 by 30 initiative where Singapore said at least 30 percent of the food um, that is consumed mm -hmm. will be produced domestically really set off a whole bunch of different activities across Singapore's ecosystem to attract a company uh, like mine. Um, a forward thinking regulatory regime, uh, the investment environment and consumers who are pretty um, open to eating lots of new things. So whether it's an egg from a plant, which we make or real meat without the need to slaughter an animal, we found consumers in Singapore are very open to, to trying lots of, lots of different things. You're right, I was born in Alabama, so I grew up eating a lot of slaughtered animals. Yeah. Um, I grew up with wings and chicken nuggets and hamburgers, <laughs> and chicken sandwiches, a lot of fried chicken. So, I mean, I've, eat, I've probably eaten thousands of pounds of chicken uh, while I was growing up. Um, my favorite kind of chicken was chicken wings. My mom used to make me chicken wings, and that was my, that was my absolute favorite. Um, but you know, I wasn't, I wasn't aware at all of what that chicken is. Where did it come from? What happened to get it on my plate? And as I got older a little bit, I was lucky to have a best friend who opened up my eyes to the food system. That inspired me to, to think a little bit differently about what I eat and, and what I want to do with my life. Where do you see your company in 10 years? In 10 years, I see our company as having hit an inflection point where anyone, my mom, my dad, you, my brother, my friends in Alabama will say clearly the world is moving towards eating real meat without the need to slaughter an animal. And it's mm -hmm. obviously only a matter of time before this is the only meat that we all consume. And they would say the same thing about the egg. So my one is not just to build a big company. My one is not just to sell billions of dollars of a product. Those things are consequences of what we really want to do. What I really want to do is to live in a world in which the vast majority of meat and eggs doesn't cause all this harm. It's going to be a world in which we're tearing down fewer rainforests. It's going to be a world in which we're eating in a way that's more consistent with our values. We're not accelerating zoonotic disease. It's going to be a world in which we don't have to harm an animal just to have chicken curry with our daughter and I want to live in that world you know I'll still eat tempeh and avocado mind you in that world but I want to live in that world thank you for having lunch or dinner with me of course thank you